It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is... Just moments away. It's the Jets and the Knights coming up next. Here's the Australian-born putter Mitch Wisnowski to get things going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. The last run got six, now second and four. Lance a handoff here to Mostert. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Raheem Mostert, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers on just two plays have taken the lead. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's going to find his tight end. That's Chris Herndon. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. On, Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now Wilson. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Keelan Cole, the intended target, but it'll be second down. Wilson. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And this is taken in at the five. Now the ball the way in. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis, 39 yards. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Pass midfield, look out. Richie James, and he'll bring it back all the way. Special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Ballantyne to return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. 62 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Now Wilson on first down. Hooking up over the middle with Herndon. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. On the ground, it's a handoff to Coleman. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there, and they're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. On third and goal, Wilson, and he fins him off. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. It's up to how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between let them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. Well, you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. Nagari's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Oh, what a move. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. On play action, Lance. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Faking the give to Mostert. Now Lance. Dancing to his left. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble and gets a first down. They'll run right side with Mostert. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the 49ers add six to their lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. Or something they used to call him the West Coast offense, the long handoff. 
serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Running left, Coleman, and three yards there, takes him to the 45. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They run with Samaje's younger cousin. This is LaMichael P. Ryan, and he's got this down to the 35. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it here. Why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Wilson. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon. And it's third down. There's Wilson to throw. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Pass rusher extraordinaire, D Ford that time, getting the sack. Excellent play there by D Ford, back in form. Remember, 2020, zero sacks for the season, but to be fair, only played in one game due to injury. What he wants to do is get back to the form he showed in 2018 with Kansas City, a career high, 13 sacks. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the... The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Throwing again on second down. Lance winds up and lets it go for Samuel. He's got a man complete. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. And I think this is what the early proponents of the forward pass were thinking about. Get it to a receiver and have him do some work afterwards in order to create the big play we just saw there. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, Coleman has it here right side. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On third down, here's Coleman. 
And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here's Braden Mann now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's, he's a big-time receiver in this league. So the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guys trying to cover him. They haven't had a whole lot of success thus far, and, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. You have to get after the quarterback a little bit, disrupt his timing, because right now it feels like pitch and catch. Make sure he's not able to have clear sight lines to him, and maybe that'll slow him down. And yeah, this is not the guy you want to let play pitch and catch. From the 45 on second down, Lance. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A first down there and a pick up the 25. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yes, sir. We played to win. Lance now on first down. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Looking to throw again on second down. Lance. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage. And that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time, it felt like, OK, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Oh, a good return up past the 30. That's it, baby. We got The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 44 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From midfield, here's Lance. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now Lance on the bootleg. This one caught by Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 41 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. 
And a boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. They begin the drive with Coleman. Now a loose football. Coleman lost it. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks them up. And avoids the turnover. And his throw is incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. On the counter, here's Coleman. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snap. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on to kick it away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. It's a gain of 35. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the gun on third down, Lance. Open man is IU complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Lance finding IU there for a Niner first. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And they go jet sweep. Here's Sanu. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Lance looking to throw it. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers continue to roll. Extra point hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And that will extend this big lead. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Ballantyne to return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler, rather more complex, in order to try and fashion together a drive. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Throw complete to Herndon. That catch good for only a couple. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well, and they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill it for a loss. And this one's going to go the wrong way, losing yardage back at the 42. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Uncorks one for Davis. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call, but how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Uh, hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Second down. Here's Mostert again. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Now as we look down, it appears we've got a Jet shaken up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Throwing his lance on third down. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a boat down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for the first down. 25 yards on third down. They'll take it. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked out at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. 86 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. The Jets on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Flush. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Eric Armstead with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 for the Niners there in a first down. Now Mostert. 
He was brought down by Blisson Austin. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Here's Mostert. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They hand it off to Mostert. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It'll be a gain of four, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can 